Hi, good morning, and welcome to my channel. My first name is Nico, and I live up in the mountains of Wyoming with my husband and my dog, Frodo. And uh, this channel is my attempt to get things from Denver back to Wyoming, and I am trying to uh, continue to be a full-time reseller. Normally, it's not that difficult. I mean, there are always challenges, but this winter has uh, been kind of tough. But anyway, um, we are on video number five of a bins trip that I did to Denver. I stayed four days. Um, you can go back and look at one, two, three, and four. It explains a little bit better. I will have a summary video, hopefully tomorrow, maybe not till Thursday. I need to add up each sheet that I've been keeping as we do a video. Then as soon as we're done, I take all of that clothing and I put it where it goes. So if it's eBay or the bras that I sell to a certain lady, um, it, that all gets to the wash, you know, the consignment I put where it goes so it's out of my office. And then any personal items or items with flaws I'm documenting. So what I'm going to do is as soon as we're done here, this should be the last video. Um, it may be a little bit longer, but I'm going to try to go fast. Um, and you can slow me down or go faster if you want to on YouTube. There's a button there where you can, if I'm talking too fast, you can kind of slow me down. Um, I do try to keep my videos at about 40 minutes, but on these big hauls, sometimes that's hard. So anyway, I will add all five of these sheets up. Then I will add up all of my receipts and we'll see if this was a worthwhile endeavor or not. Um, first though, I have two more items to ship. Um, if you saw my shipping video earlier, you know I sent out or I'm getting ready to take to the mail seven items for $204, something like that. Um, so now I have two more. I have this Lululemon hat. I think, no, okay. It's just a hat. I got it at the bins. Um, anything Lululemon I pick up, it does sell fast. Just kind of a bop around town, adjustable hat. Um, this I've had for a month at the very most. Uh, it sold via promoted listings, no coupons of any kind, and it sold for $10 plus shipping, so $17.51. Even though, you know, the bill of this could get damaged in the mail, so I just put all of my hats in a box. I advertise that, and um, I think it's a good thing. Let me see. Sorry, I've been doing a haul video. Now i got to convert for just a second to a, to a shipping video. I want to run this to the mail, then after I'm done making this video, I'm going to go to the, the uh, thrift store up here. I don't find a lot, but when I find it, I find good stuff. I've pulled St. John out of this place. I've pulled a vintage Pyrex. Um, oh, it's Friendship, but it's the, is it the Dutch Friendship, you know, uh, thing. I sold that for like $165. So when it's really good, it's really good. I, I may walk out empty-handed, but sometimes I find some decent stuff. So um, let's see where this is going. So I'm going to run in there. I hope it only takes me like half an hour. Then I'm going to come home and launch 34 items. I'm going to launch the 30 items from my VA, and then I have um, these four items left to launch. I think one is Lucky Brand. One is Nautica. It's like a special kind of Nautica, though. And then this really cool tablecloth. And then a piece of Sundance I'm going to get listed today. And then my VA has all kinds of amazing stuff that he's working on. Um, that'll save me about an hour by hiring him. It is expensive. It's about a dollar an item. I, I know I could get it cheaper, but I like him. He does a very good job. I can just kind of scroll through. There are mistakes very rarely, but it's pretty fast. So it saves me about an hour to an hour and a half of listing time for every 30 items that he does. So that'll still take me a while to check his. It'll take me, you know, about an hour to list these four. And then I'm going to, um, you know, just keep washing clothes all day and uh, do the whole thing over again tomorrow. <laughs> I'm trying to make my inventory last until for like two more weeks. So that's why I'm really anxious to see how many eBay items I ended up with. Um, I'm going to try to get by with 15 items a day of new items. And then I'm going to... Um, uh, 
do a bunch of editing. Like I'm going to edit like 500 items in my store in the next week if I can pull it off or I'm going to attempt to. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in there that is honestly not listed. I thought it was, but every time I do a video, an editing video, if you've ever caught one of my editing videos, you'll see that the stuff that's a year or two old, there are actually a lot of items that aren't listed that I'm finding out. Um, so anyway, this is going to New York, it, to Plainville, New York, and it's seven ounces. So I am keeping two bucks on the shipping also. So that helps. That helps. And then I will be doing a haul either today or tomorrow, late tonight, of the consignment items that my son is giving me. And if you like hard goods, that's something that you might want to tune into. He finds all kinds of bolo items. Um, I don't do consignment for anyone, even my own son, if it's like $10 items. It's just too much work and, um, you know, it's just too hard. But he picks really good items and then I get half and so it's worth my time. But I want to do a video on that too. Um, and then I send that to my virtual assistant. Uh, my son buys the item and spends the money up front for the item. And he does all the research and the time. Then he puts it on a spreadsheet. And then my part of the whole situation is to, f to uh, photo it, um, ship it, you know, put it away. Um, and then check the drafts from the virtual assistant, which are always you know, 100% correct, because all he's doing on those is just cutting and pasting off of the spreadsheet. So there are very rarely mistakes on that. But packaging up hard goods is, you know, harder than clothing, and it does take some time. But my half of the money is, you know, worth my time, we feel like. But yeah, I need to get to the mail. I'll get like a whiff of fresh air before I come back. And I'm probably going to work like another, I mean, it's it's 10 in the morning. I'll probably work 12 more hours today just because we're going to California next week and I get four days off. So I got a plan for those four days. But I am so excited. It's going to be great. Um, other than the price of the plane tickets. <laughs> Oof, expensive. All right, this is ZR Zero Restriction Vest. It's a men's XL. I thought Zero Restriction was without a doubt just a pickup, you know, just like a bolo. But for me, I have had this for about two to three months. There's no flaws in it. It's kind of a soft shell vest. So I thought it was kind of a substantial piece. I think I actually just picked this out of the bins without even looking it up because I saw Zero Restriction. It is a good golf brand, but... Um, I don't know. I don't know why this has taken a while because um, it's a really nice, you know, kind of velour -y, not velour, that's a wrong word, but it's a soft shell kind of golfing vest in, in a nice size. But either way, doesn't matter. Um, it was a bins pickup, so, and it's first class, so I probably paid like $1.50 for this. I sold it for $10. No um, promotions of any kind. And um, I'll just take that piece off. Um, and it is going for $10 plus shipping. So 17 boy, I'm getting some kind of notifications there. $17.28. So two more orders. So, um, you know, I'm at about 200 and... 30 for the 24 hours um, right now, which is okay. Not where I want to be. This is 15 ounces, so it's just eking by. This is going to Virginia, so I am only going to keep like 30 cents on the shipping. I just thought I'd go ahead and throw this in since um, we're doing a haul video. I thought I'd just throw in the shipping. I try to show you guys everything I sell so that especially when I do more editing videos this week, you'll see a ton of $5 and $10 orders come in, which I do not want, but that's a ton of bins money, a ton of cash flow, and plus I'm getting paid for my work to go in there and do a complete 100% inventory on my store and figure out why some of the older items um, have not sold. And so the money I'm making on doing this is, um, first of all, I'm just getting some space back because I am pulling a few things. I'm not pulling as many as I was the first couple weeks because those items were going on two years old. I had tried everything to get them to sell and I just couldn't. Let me text my husband back real quick. Sorry, guys. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. 
Apparently my dog got afraid of the snowplow. He's afraid of everything. He's afraid of his own shadow. So my husband's just going to keep him over there at the church. My husband is a full-time pastor, and that's what keeps us here in the mountains. That's why we're here. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So yeah, go back Go back if you wonder, um, you know, more information about the haul video. I will make like a 15-minute synopsis video as soon as I know the numbers. I do not know the numbers right now um, on this bins haul to see if it was profitable or not. The bins haul itself was, as far as the inventory, that's always profitable. It's just my my cost of my trip. And, and four days off of work, I did not list while I was gone. I had some listings scheduled out, but toward the last two days, I think I only eked out five and four items a day. I just did not have enough stuff. Um, this is an Athleta. It's a small, really cute, just kind of lightweight. Um, is it like a dress? I guess it's it's either a tunic top or kind of a dress, like a real short athletic dress. I'll look it up. I'm going to try to find the style number and see. I'm If it's nothing special, I'm thinking 15 plus shipping. If it is, who knows? Um, you know, I do find Athleta that is worth quite a bit. Um, that's seven ounces, so I didn't pay much for that. That's definitely an eBay thing. Then I found a lapis dress. This can be good, hit or miss, but it was real lightweight, and I thought this is a great consignment item. I'm going to look it up on eBay. I didn't even look it up. I just was trying to find some summer and spring consignment so I can really bombard that um, consignment store where I go. They take 25 items a week, and I think I have about 75 items for summer already, 75 for spring, and then I have a few fall and winter for next year because I think they're going to start switching to spring and then um I'll go to garage sales I'll try to keep those numbers solid I'll try to just all year long keep consignment stuff in there um you know but uh I run out quick like I miss a week or or um you know I miss garage selling for a week so I want to make sure that I've got a bunch of emergency stuff stocked up let alone the eBay stuff I'm going to stock up for winter we have talked about that um, this is a Coldwater Creek Petite XL. It's just a nice traveler's type, you know, fabric. Um, I see people put travel in the, um, in the listing, but it's that nice, is it rayon? Are these rayon polyester? No, acetate spandex. So anyway, but this is made in USA too. I don't know if Coldwater Creek Vintage is a thing, but I'm going to put that on eBay. I'll get at least 15 for that. Um, that's a nice size, and it's a great skirt, just a great travel skirt. All right, this is a paper moon. It's just like a, I don't know if it's a tank top or a little bop around dress. Um, I got this just for consignment. I am going to look up paper moon. I don't think that paper moon means a thing. I can't even find, doo -doo 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 -doo, can't even find the fabric content. Let me see here, guys. So, and... I can't find the size. So, unless I find the hidden tag, this is just consignment. I don't know. Don't know what I was thinking. All right. Let's see what's next here. I've got stuff falling out of bags. I've got stuff everywhere. That's why I just want to get this done so I can just focus on washing and listing the next um, seven days because I really do have a lot of listings I need to schedule out. And um, so, yeah, but it's only Tuesday. I have a week, which you know how a week goes. It just goes like crazy. So I picked this up. I was hoping to find the rest of the sheet set. This alone, if you just saw this pattern, you can sell these pillowcases, sheets, bedspreads as cottage core, and they sell very quickly. But when you find the actual legitimate um, simply shabby chic tag, you always, I mean, if, if you're willing to do sheet sets, they're not fun to photo, let me tell you, but because um, I photo all areas of it so people know there's not like a stain in the middle of the sheet, you know, so I do. Um, but this is simple, simply shabby chic. It's a great brand. If I had found the sheet set to this, we'd be looking at like a hundred bucks. But I didn't. I'm just gonna wash and sell this one pillowcase. I'll get about 10, 12, maybe. Um, yeah, I looked in the bins, tough man. I went through every bin, you know, even the ones that had been out. Even if I would have found the second pillowcase, you know, I was really trying, but 
Did not happen. Didn't happen. Oh, I got to put that in the eBay one. Sorry, guys. Okay. Then this is a little coat. It's just pink platinum. This is just going to go away for consignment for next year for the consignment store. I'm picking up all the coats I can afford. I'm trying to watch my budget and my cash flow because I'm trying to expand eBay right now and list more stuff on eBay. On the other hand, I've it's kind of what I did this year where I ended up short. I was just living week by week on my inventory and then I really got caught short with this, this weather and I should have had more on hand. So I am going ahead and I'm putting, you know, about 5% of what I pick up toward getting ready for next year. Um, and uh, it's a 2T. This will do really good at the consignment store next year. So I'm going to put that in there. All right. This is another sheet. I looked and looked and looked for all of this too. Um, let me find it. This does not match the other, but this is another Simply Shabby Chic um, sheet. And people love this kind of minimalist. Um, you know, I think I could even put Seaside Coastal on this. Um, this is considered Shabby Chic. Um, there's a bunch of keywords that I will use in my description. I'll probably, since it is Simply Shabby Chic, that's already in the brand. And then I might put Seaside Coastal in it or something. But yeah, um, I... I'm thinking, I don't think I even found the bottom sheet to this. I think it's just the flat sheet. Sometimes I grab things because I'm hoping to find the rest of it, but this will still get me like $12. It's a quick sale. Um, yeah, I'll just do it. I may have the bottom sheet somewhere. I can't remember, honestly. I know I looked and looked. I was trying. All right, this is a no iron Chico's. It is a size three. Um, it feels like linen, but I don't know. It is 100% linen. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I love that. It's an orange, which I don't know, you know, um, in the summer, you know, I don't know how much people like to wear orange, but it's a great size, size three. Um, so I'm going to put like, I'm going to look it up, but I'm going to probably put 15 plus shipping on that. And I paid hardly nothing for that. I know, um, let's see, I've been listening to a lot of people. Um, I've been listening to um, Vintage by Jacob. He's really good. I really like his stuff. I've been listening to The Canary Closet and Dixon's Pickens. I like him. He's a volume seller, um, so he sells stuff very cheap. Um, and then I'm still listening to some hard goods people like Bolo Buddies and Flippin' Junk. And then I've been listening to, um, I think, I always mess up her name. It's like Nifty Nook. Um, do, do, do. I don't know why I can't get her name right. It's, it's a simple name. It's not that hard. Let me go look it up so that, um, I make sure I'm doing it right. But, um, she has a haul coming out, I think today. So I want to catch that. So I've got my playlist for today because I'm going to be working like 10 more hours. And, um, oh, I know what I want to do. I want to go to my playlist. Anyway, it's, nifty nook something let me go to if i can get to my playlist i'll be all right um history do, do, do. so yeah so it's keeping me going um you know i'm doing good on um staying focused on getting all my listings up because i just um you know i'm doing that boy i listen to um it's a creepy um uh, short story. I, you know, because I'm down here, sometimes I do tend to just watch reseller content. And I told myself, you know, if I've got to work this hard for seven more days, at the time it was 10 days, but you know, we're going to California. I'm excited. If I've got to work 10 more days, I want to like listen to some books that I never take the time to listen to. So I am um, on YouTube. Um, I listened to a famous short story called the yellow wallpaper. It's, it's just, like a creepy short story. It's not quite like Edgar Allan Poe, but it, it's just very interesting. Um, it's a famous one. People, you know, like I just Google like, you know, the best short stories or the short stories that you need to know about or something. And this came up and it was interesting. I don't regret watching it, but boy, was it interesting. Um, and it, I don't know who that's by, but um, well, I keep seeing, oh, it's um, Nifty Nook 
thrift. So she's really good. She has a lot of bolos in there. I think she found a Burberry this week and some other stuff. Um, but she is getting another bolo or another um, bins video out. So I'm going to try to catch that today if she actually gets it done. And then her husband's an accountant. So she has lots of good stuff like that. Good content. But yeah, but I love all these other people too. There's just so many good people trying to make educational videos. Um, let's get back to it. All right. I'm at 19 minutes. This is Cowboy Hardware. This is just really cute. I don't even know if it's worth anything on eBay. I knew I could consign this and do amazing, so I didn't even look it up. I just checked the condition. This was also in the throwback pile with that Scully item, which, you know, maybe people just don't do Western as much, and then they put it back. But to me, these are great items for, at the very least, consignment in Wyoming. And I... I have a following. This stuff sells really good in, in Western wear. So I'm going to check this out. This is barbed wire fence, you know, of course. And uh, I'll see. See what I get. But I think that was a great pickup. I, I can't imagine that I won't make $10 at the consignment store off that or maybe even more on eBay. All right. This is a reversible little girl's coat. Same thing. Just picking up coats. It's a Columbia. This will sell really good for me. You know, starting in August, I'll start taking coats or whenever they want it. I checked it over. So it's, it's less than a pound. I am investing, like I said, you know, 5% of, of uh, what I can to uh, get ready for next year. Now, this also was just sitting in the bins. Now, to me, anytime you see something weird like this, unless you have a real niche, I mean, how can this not be worth something? And But it was sitting there. I have checked this over three times for flaws. When I see something that I think is just like a common sense thing to pick up and it's sitting in the bins, I'm always like, okay, there has to be, you know, something wrong with this. But so far, you know, I just see a little bit of bins dirt, but I don't see anything that you wouldn't pick up. So anyway, these are royal and awesome golf pants. And I do good. I mean, if I could only make my whole living on those um, loudmouth shorts, I mean, you know, and, and they look just like this. So anyway, they are kind of more of a not a culotte. I don't even know what you call them, but they're golf pants. They come like, are they knickers? Maybe they're knickers. They, they seem kind of like they're knickers. I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to sell them. I know I'll do well on them. Um, I don't know where the size is. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe somebody couldn't find the size. I'll measure them out. These will sell. I looked up the brand and because I was so concerned that I was missing something. Oh, yeah. Here it is. No, see, it's got the button. Um, Size 34. So anyway. Yay me, I'm gonna, I'm thinking I'll get 25 or 30 bucks on those, so yay for me. All right, this is another, that's that second Escada piece. You know, this might actually match that skirt, I don't know. I'm gonna look up Escada again, if you missed my last video or haven't watched it yet. I'm gonna see why there's Escada sitting in the bins. It, uh, it might be a highly faked brand, I might just end up consigning it. But um, it is really darling. I mean, look at the detail on there. And I didn't see any problems. I might, you know, I might search it and find out that there's some missing beading. But right now, it looks like it's in really good condition. So eBay for that, unless it's a, unless it's a highly frauded brand. And I'm going to ask some people I know. I'm happy with my Torrid. Here we go again. Torrid size 3. Um, it's just like a real good bread and butter brand for me. Um, the jeans I don't do as well with, but all these frilly kind of lightweight items that I pick up at the bands. Um, I'll probably try to get 15. I'll, I, I don't know if I'll look up the style number. All I got to do is type in, you know, like Torrid dress anchors or, you know, or something. Or I'll take a picture on, um, what do you call it, uh, Google Lens and see if this print has any real following to it. But at least 15. All right, this is another, um, now this is Rosignol, and I have the um, the draft on eBay for this, so this must mean that when I was at the bins, I decided that this needed to be listed, not consigned, and this is, I think why is this is the Pro 20,000, so that meant something, and so I'm going to get these listed here, you know, like I need to do it in the next couple days, but they seem to be in very good condition, um, yeah. So I, I can't remember why I picked them up because, you know, this kind of stuff's heavy. I'm sure I paid about $4 for these by weight. Um, but I'm thinking that they were worth at least 30 Otherwise, you know, 4 to 30 is good. It's great. But at the bins, I am trying to save money. I'm there for a reason. 
All right, now these are Duluth Trading. They are 22W by 31. So I went ahead and picked these up. Um, they're just like a nice um, kind of, I, I guess they'd be like a crop. Even though they have a 31 inseam, they are not, they are not full length um, pants. So they're probably for someone who's quite tall and that is the crop size. I'm not going to tell you what my inseam is. These would be full time. These would be too long of full size pants for me as far as the length. So I went ahead and picked them up. You know, they're right over a, a pound. So probably two bucks I paid for these. Um, I don't pick up a whole lot of Duluth trading anymore, but I was kind of desperate. I wanted to fill my car. So I'll probably get 12 to 15 on those is all. We'll see. Maybe summer's coming, and those are really cute. And they're more of a nylon cargo. Here's another pair of and one shorts. I do really well on these. Just I can power these listings out. Um, I already have, you know, the thing I can just sell similar off of. These are a better size than the other one. These are a medium. So I'll power these out with the other pair. I'll do them right in order. Um, take me less than two minutes and I sell those for between 10 and 12 on the XLs and the bigger ones Then I charge more but on the those I just get 10 bucks now I have two pieces of this I don't I don't have them together because I found them either on different hours of the day or different days Because um, I was real surprised because I looked up the first piece. I don't know if it was this or the shirt this is called Rail Riders, Rail Riders. And they are just, you know, th these are actually purple. I know my camera is making them look at blue, but they're like joggers. Um, I forgot what these are. If they're Western or some kind of biking thing, I don't know. I forgot. They're, these are an extra small. And um, I don't even know right now looking at these, if these are men's or women's. I can't even tell you. But anyway, when we find the other piece, we'll find it right now because I don't, think I've showed this on another video. Maybe I have, but anyway, um, I know it was a good thing. I can't even tell you. It wouldn't have been just $10 because then I got to do research for 10 bucks. It's something else. Now this is Wild Fox Swim. I am going to look this up on eBay um, to see if this has any following at all. Wild Fox I don't think does. This, will, this is just a great perfect consignment item. Alrighty, where are we? Do, do, do. This is a White House Black Market. It's an extra large. It's just a nice shirt. Um, I might start adding $10 White House Black Market items to my store. I don't know. I'm going to go get some comps and, and see like how long this would take me to sell at $10. Most likely this is consignment, but I'm going to I, I know I do pick up White House Black Market substantial pieces, blazers, like wool, cashmere type stuff like that I pick up. But this, I, I think, is just consignment. Now, these are American Eagle, but they're like denim cargo joggers. And joggers are doing amazing for me right now. Oh, next time I can get to the bins, I'm going to try to pick up joggers and shorts. Or, I mean, joggers, shorts, and all this kind of stuff. It's just flying out of here right now so anyway I went ahead and picked these up because they're kind of unique looking they are a size 16 regular with stretch to the waist and um yeah I just thought they had potential I did pay you know like 250 for these so I'm gonna try to get like 20 25 on those I don't know if I will but I'm gonna try all right this is a pair of Lily Pulitzer these are zero zero um, they're cute little shorts. I don't like doing the smaller sizes on Lily Pulitzer, but I do have it, the listing already very similar in my store. So I can power these out in two minutes and I'm just going to try to get like 12 bucks on those. If that zero zeros do sell. If you price them right, I may, I would take an offer of seven though. I paid so little on those. Here's Knox Rose. I have not been adding these to my store lately. Um, because I, I haven't been finding them at the bins, but at the bins, I will put this in there for like 10 bucks. I've got the listing already done. So I'll just, you know, take new photos and then power that listing out. It'll take me less than two minutes. And, um, I don't know what size that is. On the XLs, I'll put like 12, take 10. On the extra smalls, I, I'm not even putting those in my store, to be honest. All right, this is an Ivanka Trump. It's a brand that does have quite a following. I'm trying to think if this had a size on it because I don't see it up there. Um, let's see. This is a 100% polyester. And 
I think it has like a style number. I don't know if this has, if it doesn't have the size, I'm pretty sure I looked for the size and I found it, but if it doesn't, this will be a consignment item um, and I'll make like a dollar on it at the consignment store. If, um, I thought this was a medium, for some reason I thought that I found it, but anywho, um, that is fine. Yeah, I'm not seeing my my size specifically. So probably this will end up consignment, but I'm going to look it up and then I could always estimate it by trying it on. It's, it has a lot of really great detail. Um, I like the blouse myself, but I don't think it would fit me. I like it. All right. This is wishful. It's just really cute for a consignment item. It's darling. I will take a second and just make sure that that's not an anthropology brand that I need to know about, but this is just really cute. Cost me less than like 30 cents. On those little flimsy tops, they charge about four to five dollars depending on the brand at that consignment place. So my half is like two bucks. I'm paying 20 to 30 cents. Um, that's worth it to me because it just somehow adds up. I mean, I make 50 to a hundred dollars a week doing that. And, you know, and I do try to take them good brands, but it's always crazy to me how much my check is. Um, these are Toad & Co. I do so well on Toad & Co. It's not a high-end brand, but it has a following and these just flip for me. These are men's, I believe, if I looked them up right. Um, they have a nice, like, straight to almost a flare, but I think I'll just put straight um, these do not have a, a pant name on them, but they're a good size at size 36 and they're organic cotton. So Toad & Co. shorts sell really fast for me. The shirts, maybe not as much, but if I'm getting it at the bins, I always pick it up. All right. This is... Oh, I, I was like, why did I pick up no boundaries? I just had to try this, guys. These are hot, hot fuchsia pink, and they're kind of joggers. I'm going to list these as Barbie core and see if I can get them sold. They're a size large, no boundaries, which is the lowest end brand on the planet other than maybe Shine. Um, but um, I'm going to try and see if I can get these listed as Barbie core see what happens. Um, because they're such hot pink, I just thought, you know, um, on style alone, I'm going to try it. They cost me, you know, maybe a dollar twenty to try it. So I'm going to see what happens. And then these are vintage bike shorts, not biking shorts, but bike brand shorts. And these are like compression shorts. Now, vintage underwear you can sell on eBay used. You can't, you know, um, any other, you know, used underwear. Um, these are a small, but these have a following. Um, and I was thinking that these were going to go for like 20 even. I'm pretty sure. These are a small though, but anyway. All right, let's get the next one. We've got five more trash bags. I may, I'm going to probably divide this up. So this won't be our last video. Um, I want to keep these at 40 minutes and then plus the summary video. Plus I need to go change the laundry and get to the mail. Um, okay. This is a Karen Scott. I am starting to pick up things for next fall and winter. And this is, you know, poinsettias obviously, but this jean, you know, modesty type denim will sell. Um, I could even maybe just go ahead and list this. People buy Christmas and Halloween all year long, but I'm going to try to get about 40 bucks for this thing. Um, I don't know if I will. The brand isn't that good, but these denim, um, denim things, anything modesty, you know, I do really well on. So my understanding is for it to be modesty, it can't have a slit in the back, you know. Um, the jumper style in front seems to be okay. The best are just those, you know, pullover denim dresses that just are short sleeved or long sleeve, and they have no buttons, no nothing of any kind, and I uh, do real good on this. Now, I found two pair of fried denim jeans at the bins. I don't know if I've already showed you one or what, but I do so good on fried denim. They're not an amazing amount, but they sell right away for me. I sold one, I want to say last week. Um, these are just black denim, kind of straight leg pants. Um, nobody else seems to be picking them up. Maybe, you know, maybe it's because, I mean, I'm probably going to get like between 15 and 20 plus shipping, but they're 38, 32 slim. So I think that's a pretty decent size. 
And um, yeah, I looked these over two or three times too because I thought, you know, why are people leaving those? But I think we all kind of have our bread and butter brands that we do well with. There's other things that people mention like the Knox Rose that I'm just really struggling to move. I mean, um, this is Loft. I don't normally pick it up, but it's a large. It'll do great at the consignment store. You know, they'll price this at four or five bucks in the summer. And hopefully I make a couple bucks on that. I do have a grail in the next, um, I think it's a grail. If you're a vintage t-shirt person, please come back to video number six and tell me if my t-shirt, I think it's authentic. It's, it's definitely single stitch. I know that they're copying those, but it's not one that you would waste your time copying. It's not like a thousand dollar shirt or something, but it is a good one. Um, okay, so I got this. This is a little vintage, little so what I'm trying to do, I'm putting this in the consignment for now, and there are a lot of vintage stores in Denver that would buy all of this. Or what I'm going to start doing, and I've seen other people do it, is just do big vintage lots of resale stuff on eBay in women's, men's, and kids. And so I might just develop kind of a reseller lot business on eBay where every time I find something like this, then once a month, once every couple months I go through and if my box is full I sell 20 vintage outfits and then other vintage stores and other things will will find these or other resellers who are better at their vintage I am not that good at vintage I this would sit forever and I'd get five bucks you know unless it has an actual real determined brand that has a great following I am just going to start I'm trying to increase my income by either selling to other places or um selling some reseller lots. The reason why is that then I can pick up more items at a time and fill my car. So like even though I'm not going to sell that by itself um, and I don't sell bras by themselves really unless it's something really high end, I'm finding ways to pick that stuff up and monetize it that doesn't take, you know, too much of my time. Now I knew this was worth something. I think I've sold one before. Um, it is Nakatano, but I mean you can just see the details in this now it does have some fade wear right here um, on the collar and that's why people left it but I checked the drawstrings I checked everything else it's a real real substantial hoodie I'm gonna sell it anyway with that flaw um, with the flaws it has if it had no flaws um, these are worth between $35 and $50 with the flaws. I might even take a $15 to $20 offer. A lot of people are not going to care about, um, you know, this right here. They wear these outside. They love them. So, yeah, eBay, here we come. I'll see how much I end up getting. Whew, getting hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet. I got to get down there and do that too. I'm hungry now. Um, this is Nightmare Before Elm Street or Nightmare Before Christmas. Sorry, not Elm Street. Um, these are just really, you know, kind of larger size lounge pants. These are, what size do we have? Oh, uh, I don't know. Maybe that's why people didn't pick them up. Maybe I can't find the size. I'll just consign them if I can't. That's why, oh no, 2XL. 2XL right there. So yeah, so I'm going to see what these go for. These are called Pumpkin pumpkin King. So I should be able to easily look these up, see if they're an eBay thing. If not, I'll just consign them. I'll, I'm putting them in the fall. Um, I'm picking up Halloween costumes, guys. I am so determined to be ready for next year. If I find a decent Halloween costume, I'm picking it up, putting it in my consignment box. Um, that consignment store is so busy a week before any holiday because um, a lot of the college kids go there to get their party stuff for the weekend. Then they definitely go there for Halloween. Um, this is called We're the Weirdos Killstar. I think Killstar is the the brand. I just picked it up. I figured it would consign well. I don't know that I even looked. Maybe I looked it up. I don't know. But these have flare legs. They're really nice. They are a size 2XL. So I know I'll get something. I'm not sure how much, but I'm going to eBay these, I think. If not, they'll end up in consignment. Before I, um, after each video, I go through and I look up and make a decision. Okay, are these things eBay or are they consignment? If they're consignment, I mark them as such because I want the accurate numbers. I don't want to say, okay, I got 50 eBay items on that video and then really only 30 ended up to be something I listed on eBay because it matters to me like why I'm buying this stuff. So I will go through that bin. I'll, the stuff I know is eBay, I'll get upstairs ready to wash. The stuff that um, I'm not sure of, 
out. I'll stand here and look it up before I fill out that form. Um, this is Alexander Jordan. It's just a really nice kind of, you know, cute kind of spring. It's really lightweight. I don't think it has any special fabric. I think it's just polyester probably, but it's really cute. And so I just picked it up. Cost me, you know, less than a buck. 100% um, rayon. I'm going to look this brand up. I'm not sure. I think I just threw it in without even looking it up. Oh yeah, I got like 30 items to put away today too. Not only do I have to list and put away 34, um, you know, some with the help of my VA, the rest I'm doing from scratch. I did all the photography on all of them. Then I've got about 28 items from my VA from the last week when I was at the bins. I launched them every day, but I didn't have time to put them away because I was in the hotel. And um, some of them sold out of there, thankfully. So I only maybe have even 26 left to put away. But um, I need those two tubs in the system and out of my way. So I got a lot of putting away. Now, I did not notice that this has a little name right there. I'll mark that out. I'd rather have a black marker than someone's name there. Um, and it doesn't have a first name, so it's fine. But in nursing homes, you know, you want people to keep their privacy and their dignity. And this person may be gone by now anyway. But anyway, this is Rocky's XL. It's a pearl snap shirt. And um, so I'm going to probably consign this because they're getting ready for um, Cheyenne Frontier Days, which is a huge rodeo. And there's lots of rodeos around. And that this store sells so much stuff. This is an XL. Um, I might look up a Rockies XL, but most likely this is just going to go to consignment. All right, guys, this will be our last bag. Then I have one, two, three, four, five bags for the next one and the grail item. All right, this to me was amazing. This was a throwback piece too. I don't know why, but to me, this is just such a very unique skirt. It's green velour, it's gold. I haven't decided if I'm gonna list this yet or take it and put it in my winter consignment box. It does have, um, no, I think that's actually the pattern. At first I thought this was damaged, but I think that, that that is the pattern. I don't think that's damaged. Here it has, you know, a little bit of damage right there where it should be connected at the end and it's not, or maybe that's just where they ended it. I don't know. But um, anyway, um, let me see. I think the hooks are the problem right here. There's no hooks. It's just a zipper, but that will not matter at all on eBay or at the consignment. I am going to, um, I have a friend who, if I, if this is really that high end and I wanted to fix it, she would do that for me for 10 to 15 bucks. But anyway, I don't know a thing about this. It says Brilliant Sam Nyadiek. And then it's Strasser. It's a Drindle. It's like a Drindle skirt. So yeah, I'm going to decide if this is a costume that I take to the consignment or sell it on eBay. But yeah, this was in the throwback pile. I looked and looked at it to see if I saw any substantial damage and I don't. So yeah, it's just got bin stuff on it. But yeah, we'll see. We will see. I don't know if that's wool or not. I do not know. It's just heavy. Um, this is just PFG white shirt. Um, you know, I do really good with these at that consignment place. Um, I did sell a PFG shirt, though, in my store this week, and I think I was happy with the price. So I may just um, take a photo, copy it real quick, and sell similar on that and get some lightweight things in my store, too. So I don't know what I'm going to do on that. I will let you know after the fact. <laughs> Um, these are just pink um, leggings. I was just kind of, you know, toward the end trying to get things. These are real, they got sheer ends on them. I can get like eight or ten bucks on a pair of pink, um, you know, leggings. Not much more than that. But at the consignment store, you know, I'll definitely make a full dollar fifty or something on that. So I might take a quick picture of the pattern, make sure it's nothing, or look up the style name. But that's most likely consignment. You know, you run out of time. You know, you could make sure that you're not missing anything rare of any kind and take pictures of every single thing that should go to consignment. Um, This is Jane and Delancey. Jane and Delancey. It's just a nice, easy weight top. It's much prettier than that showing. It's a much prettier golden yellow. And um, I'm just going to consign this. This brand does okay, but um, I don't think it has the sell-through that I want in my store. All right, then these are an Iman. Um, are these equestrian or what? There's some reason that I picked these up. They just have the leather detail on the side, or maybe it's faux leather. Um, 
I don't think these are riding pants, but I remember looking these up. No, it's genuine leather trim, so maybe that's why. So I think I'm probably going to eBay these. If I remember right, with the genuine leather trim on the side, these were like worth 15 to 20 Okay. Last one of this bins haul, guys. Oh, yeah. This is good. I find I just heard about this brand this week, but I found it before I heard about the brand. I picked this up. I could just tell that they were substantial pants. I forgot these were in here. I completely forgot these were in here. These are joggers. Um, I just heard um, someone on the mentoring group say that once they heard about the brand Cuts, they started looking for them, and they were everywhere, and they found them. And these sell for a really good amount. So, yeah, I don't. these are not new tags. This is just here. But, yeah, these are a Cuts brand, size large. I'm going to list these today. These should do very, very well. Or not today because I've got 34 items going up. But tomorrow this will be my priority. I'm prioritizing sweaters, blazers. Anything worth a decent amount of money, I want to get listed first. Um, but definitely, weather-wise, I want to get sweaters, jackets, blazers up, like that Drindle skirt. You know, I'll get that up if it's worth money. So anyway, guys, that is for today. I'm going to go do a count. Then I'm going to get everything divided up. I carried a bunch of consignment stuff already in the back bedroom where I have my tubs ready to go as the consignment store will take it. Um, I hope that I run out of that by branching out to another consignment store eventually. I just don't have time to pursue that right now. Um, so I will do my, I've got my little sheet ready to fill out. I didn't find any more bras. In that last one, the one that I just filmed and just launched, I had 18 bras in there. So that's great. I'll get three bucks a piece on those. Then I had 12 consignment, 34 eBay items, and two personal. If you count the personal, that big um, backdrop that I'm going to use for my store. So it's kind of business personal. I didn't find any flaws on those. So, all right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Um, please subscribe if you haven't. If you like my content, I do tons of haul videos. I'm hoping to have another mini haul. I'm going to leave now, go to the mail, go to this little local thrift store. I hope to come home with like a three or four item consignment, you know, uh, thrift haul. I don't know if I will because I'm picky, but let's go see if we can find any cuts pants. That is something they just would never think is worth, you know, I don't think they would look that up. Maybe, maybe they'll surprise me, but I would pay 10 bucks, I think, for cuts right now. If my understanding is right, it's worth it. So I'm going to go um, see what I find and then I will film the last bins haul here in a little bit. All right. Have a good day, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and make a comment. Are you getting anything out of these? Did you know about the cuts pants or not? Let me know. Bye.